Reception Institute and to face the Adawasa Station. Could you describe the, the environment where you work, the, the landscape and climate? Well, in the uh, area I'm working, we have some uh, uh, moist, dry, or dry to like some humid environments and it's plain and uh, some part of it's plain and the other part especially when we we farmers are growing beans yes. so some undulating topography also okay. and we are in the southern part of Rift Valley we have uh, two seasons okay. uh, we call uh, in local name Belg and Maher or we can call us season the smaller minor season and the major season so the main the minor season starts around march april may yes. short one and the longer season starts from june july up to october and in your own words could you give us a background to your project to your main projects in uh, tropical like yeah. yes yes uh, this tropical legume is really a very pertinent tro tropical legume one project is very pertinent to us uh, because it's uh, majorly focused on uh, Andean beans, the large seeded beans. Okay. So these beans are much more liked in our target environment and uh, it led us to know about the molecular breeding. So it exposed us to uh, new development in science, especially in application of uh, molecular techniques and lamb reading. Is there anything that you would do differently next time if you had a similar project? Yes, like uh, now in this phase uh, we are trying, we get a lot of germplasm. Yes. Of, uh, so if we get another project or chance, then we work uh, this material to get into the hands of farmers yes. so that we can see some impact or change. And also we want to modernize our breeding uh, uh, process like to speed up using the markers and uh, developed by this project. Everybody is talking about impact these days and uh, so far what, what what differences has this project made that you can see? Like we can see in our breeding program like uh, we are still one the first thing is capacity building yeah. so uh, the scientists are there in national system get exposed to the new technology and, and, and also we got information training yes. so we have some uh, so the other thing like with this no, I think it's, a, it's, it's a, the base is TL1 but we have some project from GCP center development okay. so we will have uh, a full irrigation system for about about uh, 10 hectares of land, so that uh, will revolutionize our evaluation proce process. Like we can do, this, manage the stress as we like. So we got such support. So that's an impact for our system. As we know, GCP is finishing in 2014, and um, can you foresee any further impacts beyond 2014? Yeah, like if we start working with what we have already obtained from GCP, like the the capacity building, the training, and the materials we obtain, so still we can make uh, use of those physical material as well, capacity as well as the human to create some impact in our research system. Taking the, the title of GCP, the Generation Challenge. Challenge program. What has been your greatest challenge so far? Yeah, our challenge like I can say when I start my career as a bean breeder so uh, many farmers are not adopting our improved varieties. Okay. 
So nowadays, uh, because we through the considering farmers are our, our partner, so we try to understand what farmers looking for and what they like. So we try to include the, their interest in our breeding materials and nowadays those materials which are released uh, from our institution is getting wider adoption. So the challenge before was uh, just getting higher adoption rate with variety developed from our research system. But nowadays now we are breaking that uh, challenge and we are so a lot of farmers are growing our our varieties and because of like change in weather or instability so many people are coming to grow beans so beans are now becoming the major crop in especially in our mandate area next to bean so they grow in association with maize and so so a major challenge has been the, the communication between scientists and farmers yeah. the other challenge was yes. uh, when we are working with the national system we don't know the other part of the world what they are doing. Oh. That was a challenge before, but now we got the knowledge. So we have now we can speak some common language with different people from advanced laboratories. That is good. Yeah. Yeah. And it made also an intimacy with like international uh, institutes like SIAT, CG centers. We work together. Yes. So they also better understand our system and yes. we also understand how they are functioning yes. so that was good so that's very good it came through this project and also do you think there are ways to make these projects more sustainable uh, i think it is designed nicely because we are now actively participating with uh, international organizations like uh, the CG centers and uh, so the, this is a good way because GCP is supporting in many directions and we are getting technical uh, backstopping from the CG centers so as a national partner we are doing also the okay. the, uh, the work and they are supplying germplasm so um, it will be okay like if that's the partnership continue in the future. Too. Absolutely. What do you foresee is, is the, the greatest challenge of the, of the next generation of researchers? Like... Um, what, is, what is coming in the coming future? Coming in the future, maybe yeah. the challenge for the future generation would be like... Um, into the climate change. Yes. Uh, the farmers growing environment maybe modified or new environment maybe create and that also be a challenge like new pest population new uh, and disease uh, may come so the challenge in the future maybe to breed uh, or develop varieties which adapt to the changing environment so that will be the challenge